Tomo News presents Too Stupid to Travel. Parenting Fail. An ordinary day at a museum in the UK went horribly wrong when a family's failed photo op damaged an 800-year-old coffin. According to the BBC, on August 4th, a family was visiting Pretty Well Priory Museum in South End on Sea. Hoping to snap a morbid photo, the parents reportedly reached over an exhibit barrier to put their child inside an 800-year-old ancient sandstone coffin. Ah, you know this isn't gonna end well. Here's some quick facts about the stone coffin. It was found on the grounds of the monk's residence in 1921 and has been displayed at the Pretty Well Priory Museum ever since. It used to contain a skeleton that the museum says could have belonged to a senior monk, so arguably it's a valuable artifact. Well, in the process of picture taken, the offending family managed to knock a chunk off of the sarcophagus. <sighs> Fantastic. They didn't say a word and fled the scene, but were caught on the museum's surveillance cameras. In response to the photo op incident, Pretty Well Priory Museum's conservator Claire Reed said the staff was shocked and upset, but added that the damage was repairable. The museum said they didn't expect people to actually get into the artifacts, and they plan to completely enclose the stone coffin in the future. Chinese tourists pig out at Thailand Buffet. A group of Chinese tourists were caught on camera, well, behaving badly. The tourists were filmed amid a feeding frenzy at a hotel buffet in Thailand. Seafood seems to be their food of choice as one by one they frantically climb over one another to fill multiple plates at a time. Most were employing the double place technique, using one plate to scoop food onto another, while others, well, just used their hands. The tourists were seen taking three or four plates at a time. Tables were filled with seafood. Afterwards, photos were taken of the leftover uneaten food, prompting netizens to criticize the behavior of the greedy tourists. Most people were upset calling the behavior disgusting, while others simply said, that is Chinese. Entitled Doctor's Wife Bashes Airport Staff with U.S. Passport this video has gone viral in Taiwan after a prominent plastic surgeon's wife lost her cool with staff at Taoyuan International Airport. Du Xing Wang, aged 62, is a prominent and well-renowned plastic surgeon in Taiwan. His wife generally stays out of the limelight, but this past week it was her turn to catch the nation's gaze. Dr. and Mrs. Wang were meant to fly out on an international flight, but Dr. Wang began feeling ill a few hours before the flight. Unable to cancel their tickets at the last minute, the couple decided to still try to make the flight. After checking and passing through security, Dr. Wang began throwing up while he and his wife waited in the VIP lounge. The two decided to forego the flight and contacted airport staff about canceling their tickets and reclaiming their luggage. Airport staff then provided a wheelchair for Dr. Wang and helped the couple exit the secure area of the airport. Unfortunately, after 30 minutes of walking, Mrs. Wang lost her patience and began yelling at security staff. She even whipped out her U.S. passport and waved it around, telling staff they better be careful or else she was going to have them all fired. Mrs. Wang demanded to know what the holdup was and why her and her husband were still being kept waiting. Staff attempted to explain that they were still removing the couple's luggage from the plane, but Mrs. Wang wasn't having any of it and started demanding if they knew who she was. Yeah, we know. You're the internet's newest darling. Enjoy! Chinese woman throws coins into plane engine for good luck. A woman delayed a Shanghai flight for several hours after she had the Ozo oh Chinese idea of tossing coins into the airplane's engine for good luck. According to a passenger, the 80-year-old woman tossed nine coins at the engine of China Southern Airlines flight CZ-380 while she was boarding on the tarmac. Unfortunately, one of the coins found its way into the engine. Officials were forced to evacuate almost 150 passengers from the flight bound for Guangzhou while the maintenance crew checked for any damage to the engine. The old woman who was traveling with family was detained by police. She told authorities she was praying for a safe flight. What's that old Chinese proverb about throwing money in engines? Oh, yeah, there isn't one. Bad airline passenger behavior taken to a new low. This week, Boston Globe columnist Dante Ramos was witness to the latest episode of bad passenger behavior. Airplanes, for some odd reason, attract the worst kind of passengers. From the old lady who can't appropriately handle her luggage, to the oblivious mom who is too tired to discipline herself, let alone her children. 
There's the fat man who has no respect for personal space or hygiene. And again, the undisciplined child. The drunk man. And the yogi. And now there's this woman, the ponytailed creature who Ramos and his friend Ryan encountered on a flight from Houston to Boston. Completely unconcerned with her fellow passengers' comfort, the woman decided to show off her locks. It broke an unspoken rule of economy class. Keep your coats, extremities and expansive hairstyles under strict control, Ramos later wrote in a column for the Boston Globe. Following the incident, Ramos posted a photo of the woman's hair on Twitter. The photo has since gone viral. Luckily, Ramos and his friend escaped unscathed. Idiot tourist drags swan out of lake for a stupid selfie. An innocent swan in Macedonia is the latest victim of people and their need to take the perfect selfie. A Bulgarian tourist visiting Lake Orard was caught on camera pulling a helpless swan out of the lake to be used as a prop for a selfie. The woman grabbed the bird by its wings before yanking it out of the water for some photographs. Once the woman was finished with her photo shoot, she dumped the swan on the ground and went back to her friends and walked off. The Macedonian International News Agency said the woman killed the swan, but the witness who took the photos told Huffington Post that the swan eventually swam away. Less than a month ago, a group of beachgoers in Buenos Aires killed a baby dolphin after pulling it out of the water and passing it around for selfies. Days later, a man in Florida was seen yanking a young shark out of the water so he could pose with it. <sighs> Passenger tries to bite flight attendant, then leaps off plane. An American Airlines passenger allegedly tried to bite a flight attendant and then jumped off a plane after it left the gate at Charlotte Douglas International Airport last Thursday. Flight 5242 had just pulled away from the gate and the seatbelt sign was on when a 22-year-old man got out of his seat and tried to open the main door. A flight attendant and two passengers then got up to stop the man. The suspect then tried to bite the flight attendant and went looking for another door. He found a door in the galley and managed to open it. He then jumped from the CRJ-200 jet. The man ran toward the taxiway before being intercepted by two airport workers. He was booked into federal lockup shortly before midnight. According to an affidavit, the man was halfway through a trip that started overseas and he spoke little or no English. Chinese tourists busted for stealing a toilet seat. A red-faced Chinese couple apologized this week for stealing an electronic toilet seat from a hotel in Japan. The travelers, identified as Mr. Lee and Miss Chen, found the multi-function toilet seat underneath their bed at a hotel in Nagoya on Monday. In an attempt to keep a lid on the bad press, the sticky-fingered tourists claimed to think the seat was left behind by previous guests. Maybe no one ever told them that just because something isn't nailed down doesn't mean you can just help yourself. Demand for electronic toilet seats is off the chain in China, and the gadgets have become one of the most popular purchases for Chinese visitors to Japan. The seats can be heated, have a disinfect button, and provide an ass hose and more powerful than a Japanese shogun. So it's not hard to see why Mr. Lee and Miss Chen thought they had hit the jackpotty. The couple from eastern China apologized and sent the toilet seat back when the hotel discovered it was missing and kicked up a stink. But we think the only thing this pair of thieves were sorry about is getting flushed out. In fact, we go as far as to say that we think they're full of shit. Family of three thrown off flight for refusing to buckle up. Last week, a Thai Airways flight was delayed for 45 minutes because a family of three tourists from China flying from Bangkok to Hong Kong refused to buckle up their three-year-old son. The three-year-old refused to sit next to his mother, crying and insisting that he wanted to sit on her lap. The mother eventually obliged, but when flight attendants were performing their pre-takeoff safety check, they noticed the unbuckled three-year-old and informed the mother that she'd have to buckle her child in during takeoff. The father, sitting on the aisle across from his family, told the flight attendant to stop bullying his wife and child. The flight attendant then offered to get a reclining child seat for the toddler if he didn't want to sit in the seat. The husband yelled that the flight attendant was persecuting his family and demanded that she apologize. Some other commuters on the flight lost patience with the demanding father and told flight staff that they should call the police. The angry husband told them to buckle their mouths or he'd do it for them. 
Police were finally called and they escorted the family of three off the flight. Their luggage was removed and they were forced to wait for the next flight. During the delay, police went over safety protocols with the parents and ground staff practiced wearing a seatbelt with the child. A Thai Airways staff explained that children often did not want to wear a seatbelt, but that it was up to flight staff and the parents to convince children to buckle up during takeoffs and landings. She said sometimes flight attendants will offer candy as an incentive for good behavior, and it always helps when parents cooperate with airline staff. Hopefully the parents are more cooperative on their next flight. It's a long walk or drive from Bangkok back to China. Brit denied entry into Thailand after using her passport as toilet paper. An apparently well-traveled British national says she was denied entry into Thailand last month after making what's probably the dumbest passport-related mistake we've ever heard of. Faye Wilson had been attempting to make her way to the Southeast Asian nation from Australia but was stopped by immigration officials who were curious as to why her passport was missing several pages. The embarrassed 28-year-old hairdresser was refused entry into the country after lying to Thai authorities, telling them she'd lost the pages. Why lie? Well, because her actual excuse would have no doubt appeared piss poor. Wilson says that during a drunken night out a few years back, she found herself lacking toilet paper. So she reached for the only paper she had at the time, that is, that attached to her passport. Ripping out two to three pages saved her from any undue embarrassment that night, but it caused some serious problems down the road. Thai immigration officials sent her packing back to the UK via Dubai, presumably at some serious expense. The 28-year-old eventually made her way back to Thailand to reunite with the friend she so abruptly left behind, but she no doubt learned one hell of a lesson. Flight forced to return home because dude wanted to do yoga. Possibly needing a vacation from his vacation, one man on a Honolulu Tokyo flight was so anxious for inner peace it actually made him violent. According to reports, the incident started during meal service, when 72-year-old Pei Hyongte refused to stay in his seat. Ignoring the cabin crew's orders, the feds allege he headed to the galley in the back of the plane to meditate and do yoga. According to his lawyer, Pei is a retired farmer from South Korea and came to Hawaii to celebrate his 40th wedding anniversary. He took up yoga only recently to help with anxiety. When his wife tried to stop him, authorities say Pei blew a gasket and pushed her repeatedly. He was so outraged he reportedly even tried to bite and hit but a couple of marines who tried to restrain him. The plane eventually turned back after the pilot was informed of the disrupted passenger. Pei was arrested and is being held on a $25,000 bond at the Honolulu Federal Detention Center, where he can at least do all the yoga he wants.